More Alabamians than ever are eligible for the vaccine that could prevent them from getting coronavirus, and more Alabamians are in line to get the COVID shot. All of this just days before the state's mask mandate expires on Friday. Debbie Williams joins us live tonight, and Debbie, the governor held a briefing earlier today, and she made good on her promise not to extend Alabama's mask mandate. Absolutely. While a lot of people are applauding that, health officials, along with the governor herself, reminding everyone we're not out of the woods yet. Just as hundreds of folks were lining up in Gulf Shores at a drive through clinic to get the Pfizer vaccine. Everybody's kind of ready to get back to living and get on with everything. Governor Ivey made it official. The state's mask mandate ends Friday. It's the right thing to do to practice personal responsibility and make the choice to protect yourself and others. As part of the new safer apart order, restrictions at hospitals and nursing homes will stay in place. But now wearing masks, washing your hands and social distancing are only recommendations, not requirements. I think everybody needs to keep wearing it because it's getting bad in a lot of states and we don't want it bad back in Alabama. Probably a good idea. Because? Because it's just, uh... I don't, know, I don't like the mask. State Health Officer Dr. Scott Harris remains cautious. Please not let your guard down. We're uh, so close to uh, getting to the end of this. We still have a little ways to go. 1.2 million Alabamians have already gotten a shot. The number of those infected and hospitalized are trending down. And there is more vaccine available this week than ever before in the state of Alabama. But it will be now up to individuals to do the right thing if those trends are to continue. Got the vaccine, so we're all still protected, but you know, just do your part. Now, while there will not be a state mandate after Friday, some cities like Montgomery and Birmingham have decided to extend their local ordinances for another 30 days. No such extensions have been announced in this area. Live on the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.